Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's your girl, Bakery Judges. So, I know you've noticed some changes in my environment, yeah. I'm still decorating in quotes. So, so today we're talking about small beginnings, little beginnings. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I started content creating with the tiniest material and tiniest instruments I had. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click like and subscribe to this channel because... I'm gonna release some tips. What are little beginnings? For me, little beginnings are starting points. Like you starting from nothing, you starting for the small raw materials you have. One thing about starting from being little, it gives you the urge because you have the opportunity to relearn yes a continual learning process you have the opportunity to experiment you have the opportunity to to kick start that passion that fire it's like a little flame keeps burning inside of you and you know that when you have a bigger material you would do, do actually more excellent that's one thing about starting I advise you to start whatever you want to do now now is the time you don't have to wait for the best of the best okay i was using this phone to create my previous videos yeah this phone has been in the most uncomfortable position ever i'll show you the back of the phone like this is the back of the phone. this phone is like crazy I when i started making content um the first video i ever made was a poetry presentation and the video actually went live on facebook it was it wasn't the best video ever because i didn't know the basic of cotton videos i just said it it was a poem i wrote and of recent i saw the video again and i was like but that was my beginning I'm talking about starting small. I'm also talking about little beginnings. Why? Because of recent, I started something. I don't want to talk about it yet, but I'm like overthinking. When will it be happening? When is it gonna happen? But I forget that it's just the beginning. It's not even up to two weeks. <laughs> I forget that it's a progression, and it might take a little bit while. Even if I don't want it to take a long time, I want to take it. Don't procrastinate. It's a killer. It kills. Start now. Even if people ask you weird questions, what the heck are you doing? Just keep going. It. In time, you will understand where you're going and what you stand for. It's something that it comes step by step. Some of us has the opportunity of having a clear vision at the initial stage, while some of us it might take a little bit while to accumulate those words into a sentence but you just need to keep going sometimes people ask me funny questions like why do you talk like this you're fake you this sometimes they're like why don't you just quit or stuff like that what is the end goal to all this honestly i don't even know what i'm doing all i know is that i enjoy making content i love talking in front of the camera i love sharing my experience my transformation journey because I have gone through a lot like you have and me able to share my experience to you at in form of words and video it has been something I had created since I was as little as three or four or five I don't know I just know that I love pictures and I have always seen moving pictures on my wall as early as I can remember so me able to combine all those colors all those emotions and all this expression in video has been one of my greatest joy and accomplishment and I dare say if the world ends today I will be fulfilled because even if I have few views I have literally met people who tell me how much I have touched them and I'm like wow so I advise you just start little. You saw my phone. It is the worst phone ever. 
but I kept going and I kept going. I might not have the best cameras yet. I literally do want to get them so much. But do I have to stop making content? No, COVID didn't stop me. Anything, 2020 is never gonna stop me. So why would I stop now? All right, get to a stage in your life where you're like, I die here. Like I keep moving, I keep pushing. Even if I go back on that bed to restructure and redesign, that doesn't change the fact that I'm still doing this thing. It's it's a conviction. Sometimes I feel like I want to have that conviction in every aspect of my life. It's like this zeal. When you know you're doing the right thing because you're actually working in a lane, a place God wants you to be. Okay? So, I love you and I'll see you next week. And also be happy. Okay? Mwah. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Yeah, just subscribe because I do this a lot. <laughs>